down there, just by that line of trees over there. just where all the lambs come every year and, and they do all their well, the sheep come and they do all the lambing and then I just climb over the star here in the backyard and we go out here and do lots of photos for the families and I walk around the different areas of the park and in different seasons there's amazing autumn leaves falling in some of those trees over there and, and the light's really beautiful in the late afternoon. I've got uh, Kimberly Kent here from Tall Tales Photography in Auckland in New Zealand. So I'm just visiting and uh, Kim, uh, just tell us a little bit about your business and how long you've been doing business. Um, Tall Tales was started two years ago and I just realised there was a bit of a gap in the market for um, people doing just, just animals. We've got a lot of dogs in Auckland so um, yeah, it's just something I'm really passionate about. And, and you photograph mainly dogs? Mainly dogs, probably 19% of dogs, a few cats and some horses. And uh, at the beginning of this video I've shown a little bit of your location, One mm -hmm. Tree Hill, and we yeah. went up there earlier yep. uh, where I shot the video. Yep. And what a fantastic location, I mean, and, mm. and we've also seen it, it, your back garden is part of One Tree Hill. What yeah. an amazing location for dogs. Oh, it is. It's fantastic. It's just, you know, my clients come here and we just walk over the sty and we're in, in my office, as I like to call it, which is the farm with the sheep and the cows and the, yeah, it's incredible, yeah. incredible space. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. And uh, I've been coaching you now for nearly a year. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, just tell everyone about the experience. What was it like initially? Uh, tentative, yep. would you say? Uh, very tentative, yeah. It was, it was a bit of a gamble. I didn't really know. I had been reading up about what you do and things like that, but my business was at such a, a low state and it was either I had to trust and invest in doing something with a business coach mm. or I was going to lose it basically. I just, yeah. I was running, into, running it into the ground through my own lack of knowledge. So I needed some help. And one of the problems she had, of course, was the winters. You'd struggle through. Uh... Oh, very much, very much. So every winter there was just rain, and and it was very difficult to, you know, get clients. And oh, I didn't know what to do anymore. But mm. this this year, uh, it's been actually phenomenal. We've had more rain than ever, but I've actually got wait lists of clients, and you've got a wait list. A wait list, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. It, it really is, and this winter I've just been like a completely different person. And I've got work pouring out of my ears. I mean, I've just, you know, I have. I've got so much work, and I, it's really exciting. And one of the reasons for yeah. that is that we got you to do some marketing. Yep, you've showed me how to do some some really good marketing and positioning, um, and to believe in what I do and value my work is one of the biggest things. Yeah. Um, and some of the, the ideas that you've given me, I've had to just completely trust you and say, right, I'm going to do it, even though inside sometimes I'm going, oh my gosh, but it works. It works. So, Kim, do you want to show us around your little office area? <laughs> sure, Bernie, <laughs> let's go for a walk. <laughs> so, this is your office and sales room. It is, yeah, and this is where people come for viewings and they have a sit sit down here and I have the viewing screen there and I give them a really nice slideshow and then we talk about products mm -hmm. that they can purchase. So you just show them on this screen. Can you yeah. photograph yeah. primarily dogs but I see a cat <laughs> the side of you. Do you do many cats or is that your next project? No, no, I still do cats. Yeah, do, do a few but not as many as dogs and obviously the horse um, down here but um, yeah, no, there, there are a lot of cat people out there who are quite interested in... Um, I have a, a, um, so a this dog time. over here, is it was, was this, you said, your first shoot, was it? Or? <laughs> so, Kim, uh, if people are watching this video and they're thinking about getting some coaching um, done... Yep, no, don't he's look, going over. <laughs> don't look at my face, all right. <laughs> Hang on, uh, what was the question? Oh, yes, <laughs> what would you say? Uh, um, okay.
So, um, someone who's looking at this thinking of doing uh, some coaching with me. Yeah. Yep, no, I wouldn't hesitate, Bernie. Um, I really um denied about the whole thing. Um, I did a little bit of, you know, finding out about what you did and really it was sink or swim. I decided to pay, take the plunge and um, to be honest it was the best money I've actually ever, ever spent and I would highly, highly recommend it to anybody who is just feeling tired in their business, just needing needing help getting to that next stage. Um, it certainly changed my business and changed my life really and I wouldn't hesitate in um, employing you again when I need to, uh, which would probably be an ongoing life thing really I think. So yeah, I highly recommend it. That's great. Lifelong customer, huh? Ha, yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, now we didn't speak, Kim, about your amazing lifestyle. Just can you, in a nutshell, tell us about your five kids, you're getting married soon, you're moving, you're selling it. Tell us all about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting married in two weeks. I've got five teenage sons. Um, I fly regularly to the outback, um, to Alice Springs, every five weeks. Um, You've got this wedding happening with 100 people. 100 people and two, yeah, three-day event in a couple of weeks. So um, there's lots going on. We're selling the house. The house went on the market in three days, <laughs> six days ago. So it's all a bit.